Hi students, welcome to KRTV and today we are going to discuss Form 3 Chapter 4 which is Metal Reactivity in BM we call it as Kerr Reactive Fan Logam okay? so the first thing that I want to explain to you all is in 4.1 which is Variety of Metal dalam bahasa Melayu we call it as Kerr Pelbagaian Logam so students before you study you need to know by end of this topic what will you achieve so first thing first in 4.1.1 the student must be able to explain the example of minerals which are found on Earth's crust. Okay, yang pertama sekali, pelajar kena tahu apakah contoh kepelbagaian bentuk mineral yang terdapat dalam kerap bumi. That's the first one. Number two, the students must identify what are the elements which are found in natural compounds. Mengenal pasti unsur yang terdapat dalam sebatian semula jadi. And the third one, the student must be ex, uh, able to explain with examples the characteristics of natural minerals and also the uses in the daily life. Pelajar-pelajar harus menjelaskan contoh ciri mineral semula jadi dengan kegunaannya dalam kehidupan seharian. So if you are able to answer all these three things, then you have mastered the topic. So let's go into the first one, which is various of minerals in the earth. Crust. Okay, now let's look at the first one. Yeah? So first thing first, you need to understand that minerals are solid elements. Mineral merupakan unsur atau sebatian yang pepejal. Now, not only elements, they are also compounds and usually they are present okay, in the earth's crust. All right? And point number two, you also need to know that these fillers are actually contained in rocks. Pelbagai mineral tergandung dalam batuan yang ditemukan dalam kerap bumi. So, it's basically all the stones which you see around you. Pelbagai batu yang di sekeliling kamu, itu merupakan contoh-contoh mineral. Alright. Now, let's look at the third one. Yeah? Minerals that can be found on the crust are made up of the following. Mineral yang terdapat, yang dapat ditemukan dalam kerap bumi terdiri daripada a few things. So, the first one we have element and the second we have is Compound. Yang pertama kita ada unsur dan yang kedua kita ada sebatian. Now in your exam, you need to know apakah contoh-contoh element, what are the examples of element and apakah contoh-contoh sebatian yang ada. So for elements atau unsur, the two examples we have is gold and silver. And for compound, sebatian, we have bauxite, hematite, galena and also cassiterite. Okay, so ini adalah Keenam nama yang kamu kena hafal. Unsur, saya dah bagi kamu dua nama. Dan sebatian, saya dah bagi kamu empat nama. Alright? So, your job is to write this down and memorize this. Okay. Next. Moving on to the next part. Natural compounds and their elements. Sebatian, semula jadi dan juga unsurnya. Right. These are common questions that can come out in your PT3 examination. Whereby, they will give you the common name. Mereka akan memberikan kamu nama biasanya. You need to identify what is the scientific name, okay, or the syntomic name, and what are the combination of elements. Apakah gabungan-gabungan unsur yang akan memberikan sebatian tersebut. So, let's look at the first one, which is hematite. Now, hematite, the scientific name is called iron oxide or ferrum oxide. Now, the word ferrum here means it is besi, okay. It is called besi. Right. So, what is the combination? We have iron and oxygen. In BM, we have besi dan juga oxygen. Okay. But sir, if I don't use the word iron, besi, can I use the word ferrum? Yes, it is accepted in your exam. Next, number two, we have cassiterite. Cassiterite is made of steen, tin oxide. In BM, we call it as stenum oxida. And what are the elements formed? It's made up of tin and also oxygen. Dalam bahasa Melayu, stenum dan juga oxygen. The third one we have is quarza. Quarza is called silicon dioxide, which is made of silicon and also oxygen. Now, a lot of students, they will take dioxide as a main, this one. For example, silicon dioxide, they will say is made up of silicon and dioxide. No, dioxide actually came from the word oxygen. So, you must go back to the basic, which is silicon and also oxygen. Followed by bauxite. Bauxite is called aluminium oxide or aluminium oxida. It's a combination of aluminium and also oxygen. Next, we have galena. Galena is lead 2 sulfide, plumdum dual sulfida, which is a combination of lead and also sulfur. 
followed by pyrite, which is iron to sulfide, ferrum dual sulfida, which is iron and sulfur. And we have calcite, which is calcium carbonate. Now, calcium carbonate, if you notice, it ends with AT. Anything that finishes with AT means it contains oxygen. That's why when you see when it's broken down here, calcium carbonate, you will get calcium, you will get carbon. And because there's ATE or AT there, maka kita ada oxygen di sana. So if you see anything with the word AT, it means it is oxygen. For example, I have sulfate. Sulfate is the combination of sulfur and because there's ATE, which means it has oxygen. So it is a combination of sulfur and also oxygen all right so do you have any questions students let's say if you have any questions and you want to ask me you have my contact number you can always telegram me or you can facebook me or you can instagram me on these questions all right so let's move on to the next part which is an experiment based question now this experiment based question is considered as an intelligence thinking skill question which means i think skill ini adalah soalan berbentuk i think dalam berbentuk eksperimen di mana mereka akan suruh pelajar buktikan bahawa natural compound ini adalah gabungan daripada beberapa unsur the way by the natural element is combination of a few elements so these are the common questions that they can ask you in i think skill question so i've already prepared the notes dalam bentuk eksperimen so you can actually read it yourself okay many students ask me sir how do you prepare these notes where do you get these things from basically i get all this from the textbook it's all 100% on your textbook base but what i want to talk to you all right now is this one here the picture that the apparatus set up which is the susunan radas where first we are going to test the gas release kita akan menguji gas yang disediakan okay now Let's explain, let me explain to y'all about this experiment. Okay, first thing first, what they put inside here is something we call as calcium carbonate. Okay, this is your calcium carbonate. Dalam bahasa Melayu, it's also called calcium carbonate. The one on top here is they go and mix with hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, acid hydrochloric. Okay. And this is basically the tube, in English we call it as the delivery tube. Dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil dia sebagai tube penghantar. And what happened here is, they will put something we call as lime water. Dalam bahasa Melayu kita masukkan dia, kita namakan dia sebagai air kapur. So, basically what will happen is, this HCl will go and react with this calcium carbonate. Asid hydrochloric ni akan pergi bergerak balas dengan calcium carbonate dan dia akan menghasilkan sejenis gas. It will produce a kind of gas and gas of course once it produce, it will then go on top into the delivery tube. Dia akan masuk ke dalam tube penghantar and dia akan bercampur dengan air ini. So what you can see here is that you can see here that there are colorless bubbles. Okay, they are colorless bubbles. Dalam bahasa Melayu, you can say is that dia mengandungi buih-buih yang tidak berwarna. Okay, you can see a lot of colorless bubbles. And after a while, what will happen to the lime water is, from clear, the lime water becomes cloudy. Daripada jernih, air kapur tersebut akan menjadi keruh. Now, in science, there is only one gas that is used to test to mix with carbon dioxide to test its presence. Hanya ada satu gas yang akan mengeruhkan air kapur and that gas is called CO2 which is carbon dioxide. Dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil dia sebagai carbon dioksida. So we know now that this is the gas which is produced from the calcium carbonate. Okay, so let's continue and see what the question is asking for. Yeah? Okay, so that's for the first experiment. Now let's look at the second experiment here. This is to test the pemanasan of calcium carbonate. Mereka nak memanaskan calcium carbonate and see what happens to it. Okay, so let's look at the picture here. So what happened here is this is the same thing which is calcium carbonate. Okay, dalam bahasa Melayu, nama dia sama iaitu calcium carbonate. Okay. And apa dia akan buat dekat sini, mereka akan campurkannya dengan sedikit air. And what they'll do down here is, bahagian bawah ni, mereka akan panaskan dia. Now, when they panaskan dia, what happens is, of course, the gas will go on top here and it will go back right into this thing here. Okay. And again, you can see, ada 
buih-buih yang tidak berwarna here. Now, this thing here we use is also called air kapo. Dalam bahasa Inggeris, we call it as lime water. So, what do you think will happen? Yes, the same thing like above. From cloudy, it becomes. From clear, it becomes. Cloudy, daripada jernih, akan bertukar menjadi keruh. So, which means, when you heat up calcium carbonate, the gas which produced is also called CO2. So, let's see what the question is asking you. The actions you can read yourself, the instructions and the arahan you boleh baca sendiri. Now, let's look at this. Condition of lime water, when mixed with dilute hydrochloric acid. Apabila bercampur dengan acid hydrochloric, cair. What will happen? Of course, before the gas, sebelum gas melalui ni, apa akan berlaku? Of course, the water is clear. Dia adalah jernih. And once it's done, it becomes cloudy. Dia akan bertukar menjadi keruh. Why? Because gas carbon dioxide will pass through the lime water. Let's look at the next one. Okay, let's look at the next one here. When heated strongly, apabila dipanaskan, okay, again, dia akan menghasilkan gas carbon dioxide. So, when carbon dioxide goes through this, what happens? The same thing here. Before that, it becomes clear. Dia ala jernih. And lepas dia dah melalui ni, dia akan menjadi cloudy. It turns to become cloudy. Dia akan menjadi keruh. Okay. So, students, this is the first part of 4.1. Kindly download, write down the answers and try to answer the question on the last page. And if there's any question, we will telegram each other. Thank you.